crypto fam welcome back to the channel aaron here from the bitcoin bros coming back at you with another cryptocurrency video today and we are officially in a bull market bitcoin just yesterday passed fifty thousand dollar the bitcoin etfs are here so we're going to be talking about some altcoins that we think can perform well during this next bull run and we're going to be talking about a solana altcoin in today's video and that is jupe jupe is just starting so i'm be going over some on-chain data telling you guys why i think jupe will be one of the cryptos that performs well over this next year and let's just go ahead and get into it jupiter had an airdrop a couple of weeks ago and people were making tens of thousands of dollars from this airdrop one teenager made over one million dollars on the jupe airdrop and basically what he did was he got on the Jupiter Exchange, got on the decks, and he was doing swaps every single day. He was using all of the different features of Jupiter Exchange, and he built up a lot of liquidity in that platform. And on airdrop day, he got one million worth of Jupe. So that is really, really crazy to see. So they're doing 10% of the Jupe token supply every single drop over the next four years. And then the next one will be next January. So it kind of like incentivizes people to use the Jupiter Dex because if they use the Jupiter Dex throughout the year, they'll be qualified for that airdrop when it comes in January. So that will help Jupiter Dex have more liquidity over the next year. And talking about Jupiter in whole, we have the founder of Jupiter. His name is Meow. And he had a recent interview with uh, Luke Belmore here. And they were kind of just talking about the project, what he thinks. And the only reason I'm talking about this is because Meow really reminds me of CZ from last cycle. And he could potentially be the CZ of this cycle. You know, CZ was the centralized exchange guy last cycle. Now we could potentially have a DEX guy this cycle. CZ absolutely blew up last cycle because the BNB token just had astronomical gains we could see that on a dex level with jupe it is a possibility with all the traction that Solana's beginning and we'll be looking at that in a second it makes a lot of sense and he's nowhere near as big as cz right now he has around six hundred and twenty thousand followers on twitter you know cz is huge he has millions and millions but we could see him start to get more traction if this jupiter token performs well during the next bull run and checking out some of the exchange volume we're currently getting around 500 million dollars worth of volume on the exchange daily over the past couple of weeks comparing that to uniswap here uniswap does around three to four to five million dollars of volume very very similar to jupiter but uniswap's been around for a lot longer in my personal opinion guys I believe that Ethereum will get flipped by one of these other layer ones like Solana, like Cardano, like Internet Computer. I don't know which one. Nobody really knows. This is just my personal opinion. Some people think that Ethereum will flip Bitcoin. I don't think that ever happens. I know Ethereum will have some great gains in this bull run, especially because the Ethereum ETF is coming. BlackRock filed for it, so that would definitely give Ethereum a lot of momentum. But in my personal opinion, I think that we'll definitely see one of these other altcoins flip ETH before we see ETH ever come close to Bitcoin. That's my personal opinion. You guys know we are the Bitcoin bros. We've always recommended our followers to get one Bitcoin before any other altcoins. It's kind of hard now with Bitcoin being $50,000. So maybe get 0.1 Bitcoin before getting any other altcoins as just our opinion it's not financial advice it's just how we invest in crypto but looking at the jupe token i mean it right now it is currently around 51 cents you swap is 685 if jupe had a market cap of uni it'd be around three dollars and 82 cents and to be honest guys i don't think that's too out of the realm of a possibility for this born i think jupe could definitely do a five to ten x during this born i could definitely see jupe getting anywhere from two to five dollars i think that's a pretty good price range you know especially if we have some astronomical gains like we had back in 2021 it could go even higher than that 
And not saying that Jupiter is going to be the only token that goes up, but it, it could be one that definitely goes up, guys. I'm not telling you to eight ball in either. Just giving you some stats and comparing it to some other things in the market. Interrupt you really quick. The Bitcoin bros want to tell you something very important. Not just to go ahead and smash that like button. We appreciate all that support. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. But also, go ahead and check us out in the telegram bitcoin bros now are on telegram you can join right here the link is down below in the description of this video so make sure you click this link it'll bring you to this landing page here for the bitcoin bros alerts then click this button right here to stay up to date with the latest from the bitcoin bros and See? looking at the token here we started around 70 cents computers running really really slow but it started around 70 cents here and we bottomed out at around 47 cents in Really what I'm looking for for the Jupe token is still very, very early, but just a trend reversal. We've had a couple of days of green here. We wanna see a trend reversal here on the weekly and start to see Jupiter make higher highs. I think that's when we could potentially see Jupiter go into a bull run and start to make its way up to 70 cents and pass that to a dollar. We are in a bull run for Bitcoin. Bitcoin's price has been going crazy here. If we look at some of the bitcoin etf flows we can see bitcoin etf net inflows this is going to be recorded a day previous so this is yesterday 12.7k bitcoin just today that is a massive amount of btc that has come in and the grayscale flows are starting to slow down a bit and the amount of bitcoin that's getting picked up from these etfs is just a crazy rate there is so much demand for bitcoin in the traditional space that we could see bitcoin continue to go up here over the next couple of months and they've been talking like they haven't even done any marketing fidelity blackrock they haven't really even marketed to these customers yet so it just shows that there is a lot of demand for bitcoin and it, if they keep doing this and they keep taking all this bitcoin off of exchanges it's only going to lead to the price going up and the price going up for Bitcoin is going to be good for the rest of crypto because people are going to be excited and they're going to want to throw their money at cryptos and try to find the 100x gainers. And that's what we saw back in 2021. And we may see that this year or next year. So not financial advice. That's just what the Bitcoin bros are thinking. And then to get back to Jupe, you guys know that Jupe is a Solana token. So comparing Solana to Ethereum, Solana has caught up to Ethereum. I mean, just back in January or December, there was actually more search engagement on the internet for Solana versus ETH. And right now they're kind of around the same level. I mean, that is absolutely crazy to think about. And Ethereum is a lot bigger than Solana, but Solana's had a great year coming into a bull run is giving it a lot of momentum. And using the dApps on Solana versus using the dApps on Ethereum, it's night and day. Solana transactions are super, super fast. Ethereum transactions are slow and the fees are really high. And Ethereum does have an upgrade that will help with some of the Ethereum fees. I believe that's just on a layer two level though. So that's not layer one. That's not gonna be a, the Ethereum base chain. It's gonna be the layer two level. So I don't know how that's all gonna play out. You know, Ethereum has upgrades all the time, but it's looking like Solana is really, really competing Ethereum for that number one spot. And I think the one thing that may keep Ethereum in that top spot for this bull run is potentially just the ETF gets passed. But if they get an Ethereum ETF, why wouldn't they pass a Solana ETF? Why wouldn't they pass more ETFs for all these cryptos that have a lot of engagement, have a lot of money flowing in them? So I think ETFs are going to be coming for a lot more cryptos if they pass that Ethereum ETF. Then also looking at some on-chain data, this is the number of active addresses on the Solana network. If we look at this over the past like couple months, it's been around anywhere from 500K to a million. Uh, this is a seven day moving average. And if we compare that to Ethereum over, you know, Ethereum's kind of around 450 to 500K. So Solana is really, really competing with Ethereum right now. Like I said, that is why we are bullish on Jupe looking at Jupe's market cap versus Uniswap and some of these other DEXs like ThorSwap and just all these other DEXs that don't have the volume that Jupe has. It just goes to show that Jupe, the token, could have some more gains in the future. And that's not financial advice. This is just my thoughts looking at the data. But let me know what you guys think about Jupe in the comment section below. This is the altcoin that you're looking at. 
Do you believe in this crypto? Do you think it's going to do well? Let me know what you guys think. My name is Aaron from the Bitcoin Bros. I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.